So in today's video, we are going to learn how you can ace your physics exam for MEX scholarship. If you are a science student who is planning to pursue engineering, mechanical, electrical, computer science, you will need to take physics as one of your subjects if you are aiming for MEX scholarship. Then you will need to appear for this exam in MEX uh, examination round. And here is your guide to successfully ace that exam and go to the next round of interview. I am Deepthi Singh, your admissions counsellor for Japanese University. So in today's video, as I said, we will be covering in depth about physics examination particularly. So uh, physics, you know, the exam usually uh, can be a little tricky because it is not just about memorizing uh, formulas and concepts, but it is about application. We will cover a couple of example questions in this video, so stay tuned. So basically, uh, what is physics next examination? Um, the syllabus that comes year after year, I'm going to brief you on that. So key topics are mechanics. Uh, so there will be topics uh, such as motion, Newton's law, work and energy. Thermodynamics, so uh, your knowledge on laws of thermodynamics is very important, heat transfer. Electricity and magnetism, so you must be thorough with circuits, electromagnetism, optics. Reflection, refraction, wave optics, modern physics, so quantum mechanics, atomic structure. So these are the key topics that you will be covering uh, during this exam. Now for CBSE and ICSE students, I must tell you that, you know, the syllabus is not very different from your 11th and 12th. Uh, this is what, uh, you know, will occur to you when I'm telling you the key subjects. And now the key is the practical application. So let me tell you the key formats in which these questions are asked. So one is multiple choice questions. So uh, in multiple choice questions, they will be testing your core concepts and quick calculations. Uh, then there are questions which are conceptual questions. Here you will need to apply those principles and uh, here not just memorizing them, but you know, application will be the key. Third type of questions are problem solving and numerical questions. Obviously here time management becomes very important and your accuracy and speed, you know, that is the key to clear this section as soon as possible. So let's look at this question and you know, this is just an example of the kind of questions you can expect in MEX. So a 2 kg object is dropped from a height of 10 meters. How long do you think it will take to reach the ground? Now this might sound easy to you, but what if there is air resistance also in the question? So similarly, you know, so various variables will be given to you and you will have to really, uh, you know, go back to your concepts. Now, uh, the common challenges that students usually face when they are taking physics exam in MEX, it, first is the time management. They, you know, spend a lot of time on questions that they don't know. So managing your time can be the key uh, especially on numerical questions so uh, the faster you get them done second is keeping key concept you know understanding the syllabus of mixed is very important and not just uh, numerical problems but also concepts uh, formula dependency right so memorizing formulas without really understanding them and knowing their application can be really tricky so this is all for today's video in our next video we will be covering some recommended books and the study plan for physics exam for MEX scholarship. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Please like the video, share it with your friends, give it some love and subscribe to the channel.